Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Marina and today I have decided to play some Digger Mortar. So the long time watchers of this channel probably know that this deck was my favorite deck uh, once the uh, once the Viking meta was like uh, absolutely horrifying and everyone was playing Viking Bird Spam because just this archetype was too OP. Uh, right now I'm playing it for fun because I think it's still very cool to see sometimes. My opponent will be playing some very fun deck which presents Dark Knight, Mortar and now Drunker, so maybe Balloon will be his win condition, we'll see. Either way, my opponent will be Fatzut with 42 mils and his win condition will be Super Ape, so that's gonna be the trick. Also, he's gonna get a very nice counter against my Mortar, but not before we get one shot and that's absolutely everything we need in life. If you can get one shot on the tower with your Mortar, it's already value unless you like losing a tower for that. Obviously, you have to know what you're doing, but if uh, the uh, position is closed and uh, both uh, parties are kind of fighting uh, uh, for any damage, usually getting one mortar shot will be more than enough in most situations. I'm gonna actually play a uh, swordsman very high here. Uh, I'm gonna allow two towers to engage this Dark Knight, and then I'm gonna delete uh, these devils, although they will deal some damage to my uh, tower uh, first. Doesn't really matter, we're gonna get a Mortar and we're gonna play some... I think, yeah, this Bogger was an absolute, absolute blunder. Cannot play like that, sir. My Mortar will be on the tower and will kill his Bomb Girl and his Mortar will be rendered useless against my Mortar. Uh, actually, it's gonna be even out of range, I didn't know that, but... Good know that my opponent absolutely messed his placements up and yeah, I'm, that's why I'm gonna be able to take such an advantage of his position. I'm gonna play Gunner in the back because honestly why not. My opponent will clean up my forces. He's gonna have uh, some devils going in front of the darkness which is absolutely not the thing that you want to see. I'm gonna set up the mortar right here. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel just to eliminate the Bomb Girl and I miss her... Uh, completely so you know that real video gaming is happening here on this channel you're welcome i'm gonna set up another mortar and distract my opponent with some digger uh, phones push my opponent will ignore the push on the right which is very weird as that was his uh, low tower and his uh, tower on the left was absolutely healthy and he didn't have to bring the dark knight right here so yeah we're gonna take the dub very easily, GG's nice played, first game out of the way, let's jump to the game number 2. And the second vid I mean the second uh, game will be against Nibabos, who, uh, well, has a very uh, close name to some inappropriate one. He cycles uh, Ice Tiny and Heal Tiny, so I wonder what can he play. I'm gonna just cycle Devils since I don't know it yet and I don't want to run into some troubles. Uh, later on, he cycles skeletons and a super devil right now, so uh, I still don't have an idea, but I, I mean, I still don't have a clue, but I have an idea what it can be. I'm gonna play uh, Swordsman here just to force uh, out uh, his rolling steel right here. Uh, I'm gonna then play a digger and some forms because, like, I think he's playing the. Uh, He's playing the uh, general deck that I've recorded video about yesterday and unfortunately he misses the rolling steel. That's gonna be a very tragic blunder for him. I'm gonna play some devils in the back. Maybe even baiting a flying bomb. We'll, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna play mortar against this uh, ghost because honestly why not. It's gonna bait out the skeletons. I think all in all a pretty good result. We're gonna play rolling steel to mitigate the damage. I would love to play a swordsman or a digger against this uh, ghost, but we weren't given the chance, so well, that's life. I'm gonna play some digger and phones just to pressure him. I don't th okay, he has a rolling steel bag because this deck with the general that I've recorded the video on yesterday uh, has a very quick cycle, and sometimes you may think that you outcycled something you didn't and then you run into all sorts of trouble. I'm gonna obviously set up a defensive mortar with a gunner and swordsman, nothing should ever break through. I'm gonna set up another digger, 
and yeah, I haven't played a single poison in this game, and yet I'm very, uh, I'm very uh, convincingly winning this game. I okay, this swordsman won't hit, and actually his uh, his micro on uh, heal tiny was very good here. Well, uh, he just uh, absolutely, uh, I mean, he didn't out micro me. Uh, in any way, shape, or form, but uh, his heal tiny provided a lot of value. Also, I didn't out micro uh, this super devil as it absolutely decimated my mortar, and unfortunately, that's gonna be in the interaction for him. I'm gonna play Digger here just to uh, protect my gunner, uh, try to bridge fight a bit more. I'm gonna try to pressure him. On the right side, because honestly, why not? Against general and uh, in uh, heavier decks in general, you just uh, want to split them. And yeah, my opponent will be going for the last desperate attempt of general, but it's way too late. And at this point of the game, uh, the win is mine, and Nima Boss will have to practice his general skills. Uh, Again and again and again and maybe after some time he's gonna beat me. So after this game we're gonna jump to the game number three. And it looks like we're gonna get a Niba boss once again. He then laughs about it. Sometimes it happens. He's go we're gonna be playing the same exact matchup. Uh, to be quite frank, I think it is the general the, uh, player that has the advantage in this matchup. But it's very hard to prove and if you don't have the experience uh, of playing a uh, general decks, it's gonna be very difficult for you to prove it. So I'm gonna just play Swordsman, I'm gonna uh, play some Digger just to tank for my support cards. And Digger, okay, it won't connect to the. I mean, it will connect eventually, but. Mm. It, it, it was tough at first. I'm gonna play Mortar, I'm gonna play Fonts, I'm gonna basically try to mitigate all the damage, and right now he's actually doing a very great cause. I'm gonna push back his general, and yet it's gonna still get a one shot, so very nice play out of him. That's what he was lacking in the previous uh, game, he kinda has to be more aggressive and mm, getting into my face. Because, uh, to be quite frank, it's uh, hard for me to stop every single uh, general shot, so definitely a good final of him. I'm gonna play some devils. And then follow them up with a digger. And then I'm gonna actually play poison because honestly, I don't think it's a good, uh, it's a bad play. I'm gonna get a lot of damage on all his troops. And right now he actually, wow, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm gonna actually be in a lot of trouble after this. I'll have to play a rolling still against this general. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice play, and unfortunately, my opponent will get a lot of damage right here. After this push, we'll have to concentrate if we want to ever come back to this. I'm gonna just play Digger here. Uh, I'm gonna play some uh, Devils here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna play another Gunner. I kinda have to uh, get back the control of this match. Uh, he plays the general which uh, is very concerning i'm gonna play some devils i mean uh, uh, these uh, i'm gonna play some uh, fonts in order to uh, distract his uh, forces uh, he's gonna get once again very nice uh, very nice uh, micro uh, uh, for his heal tiny i'm gonna go for the uh, uh, falls uh, once again uh, just to uh, distract his uh, rolling steel. Then I'm gonna go uh, for uh, the another uh, push with the digger. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for uh, the poisons over and over again because I can I frankly have to just uh, keep eliminating uh, his uh, super devils because before they uh, become too problematic. He's gonna play uh, some of these. I'm gonna play some falls gonna eliminate my gunner, I don't think uh, that uh, really matters. I think I'm gonna just play a swordsman. He starts to spell cycle and I don't think it's a good thing for him to do because I'm gonna play a digger and a poison. 
So if he's gonna be fast enough, he obviously can catch up with a, a spell cycle, but obviously the most, the more concrete uh, way for him to get damage will be to uh, get it with generals. And unfortunately, he stopped playing generals. So uh, I mean, fortunately for uh, for uh, for me, unfortunately for me, uh, and. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of damage with this digger. I'm gonna get some damage with poison with rolling steel, and unfortunately, my opponent will lose on damage just by his tiny scratch. I'm gonna give him a good game because he played very well uh, this game. Unfortunately, he stopped attacking, and once you stop attacking and give uh, the control to your digger opponent, you will just lose because he will trade over and over again. So you have to be very quick with attacks. And yeah, my opponent. Unfortunately, losing the uh, rematch, uh, but he played it very well, so I think he's gonna be way more experienced uh, going into the next games. And I'm always happy to educate someone about uh, the game of Boom Arena. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number three. Let's jump to the game number four. And the next game will be against Smash Boy, who will be playing General as well, and uh, frankly calls me out as a noob for the first play, which is absolutely rude and you shouldn't be doing this at home. If you are, please stop. Uh, I'm gonna play some devils. He's gonna actually spam the bridge, which is absolutely not perfect for me. Uh, I'm gonna try to pretty much hold it. I have a lot of troops to hold it and I actually get no hits on the tower, which is absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna play a digger after that because I have some troops to tank for and my opponent, I think, just overcommitted first play. It happens to everyone at some point in their career. My opponent tries to eliminate my gunner with the drunker, but it doesn't work out and I take the tower in the counter attack. So and my opponent obviously doesn't stop with the banter because why should he? And uh, right now we're gonna be having a very fun game where my opponent will try to basically all in into me and I'm gonna be trying to survive it. I'm gonna cycle mortar because honestly why not? I'm gonna play swordsman because the mortar and the swordsman are enough by themselves to uh, hold the general unless my opponent plays lightning because he's a little prick. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I, I actually don't know what I want to do. I'm gonna play bigger and uh, devils just to uh, try to get some damage back. Obviously it's not gonna be that the same amount because he's gonna be playing a General Lightning and General Lightning tends to be a very aggressive archetype which means that he will be able to get a damage pretty much every time he goes in no matter what. So I'll have to just focus on uh, not uh, not getting absolutely out damage. Uh, he's gonna spawn some uh, apes here which uh, Sounds and looks very scary, but in reality it's gonna be like 500 damage and once again my opponent will be going for the uh, lightning, uh, which I didn't expect. And I'm gonna miss mortar out of the stress because uh, my opponent will be playing very, uh, in very fun way. Gunner will connect to the tower. Uh, I already got some damage back, which I'm gonna absolutely need. I'm gonna play some uh, swordsman and phones. And I'm gonna add a rolling steel as an icing on the cake. I'm gonna play some uh, bigger and devils just to a just as a, a counterplay measure. And my opponent looks like won't be able to come back into this game, even though his uh, deck uh, normally is very violent. I'm gonna play poison just to make sure I'm gonna take the tower. I'm gonna play the swordsman just to drag his troops out of the way. I'm gonna say GG's because uh, the game was indeed very good, very instructive, very scary at times, especially the first play when he played every single troop that he owned at the bridge, but I knew he had zero mana and I could play a lot of swarms to just counter them. So GG's nice played. That was actually a very tricky matchup, but we've managed to persevere and let's jump to the last game of today's video. And the last matchup of today's video will be against I beat my son 245, who's gonna be having a zero medals and uh, yeah, so far so good. Let's <laughs> let's actually try to play some video game. For the looks of it, my opponent uh, will be either trying to play his original of meta deck, or he will be uh, oh yeah, he, he's gonna be playing obviously the original of meta deck because. 
uh, obviously there's no meta deck that involves bomb girl and balloon in the same composition i really hope that okay i'm gonna actually that wasn't a good early game we don't commentate on that but uh, yeah uh, i've got some unnecessary damage from both this balloon and uh, and this uh phone keg, so some uh, some suboptimal plays at the beginning happens to everyone. I'm gonna play a rolling steel on this bomb girl, so just she isn't annoying anymore because she's dead. He's gonna be playing rolling steel, so I'm gonna be playing phones at the bridge, just forcing something for him to play. And he's gonna be playing uh, phone keg underneath his tower. I'm gonna keep the pressure because I feel like he's low on mana. I'm gonna play Mortar and the Mortar will lock onto the tower, which is very good sign. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel just to stop this Bomb Girl from damaging my Mortar. I think I'm gonna get two more hits of the Mortar and that's gonna be uh, just barely not enough to take the tower, but just barely enough for my opponent to decide to leave the game. And that's absolutely the decision I agree with. We're gonna be ending uh, the video on this note as my opponent will leave the game. And yeah, that's gonna be a bigger mortar deck, which is usually considered a very difficult deck to play. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you, you obviously struggle. And even if you know what you're doing, you uh, find yourselves uh, in a very long journey to master this deck. Uh, frankly, I feel like I have a lot uh, to learn in this deck, so... I uh, kinda decided to practice with this deck on today's video. If you enjoyed my gameplay and uh, yap and basically the video uh, today, obviously thanks for watching till the end. And if you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already because uh, obviously I will enjoy it and hopefully you will enjoy it because uh, I post the Boomerino content every single day with best strategies, best decks, uh, and I kind of try to explain them how they're being played. Uh, so if you learn anything from me, leave a, a nice comment. Uh, I would gladly appreciate it. And if you want me to play your deck in the next game, because you want to learn how it should be played in the most optimal way, you can always leave it and I'm gonna be more than happy to play it. And uh, on that note, thanks for watching till then. Once again, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.